Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Stress and Pain Relief Podcast. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well. This is going to be another technique which you can use. It's going to involve making fists with your hands as opposed to with your elbows, I don't know. But if you have any kind of physical issues with your hands, um, then maybe stop the recording, listen to something else, or maybe you could imagine doing it. Or I guess you could... Replace your hands with your feet so you could sort of crunch your feet up a little bit. So it's it's about being creative. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead with doing the hands. But of course you can do whatever you choose to do. Um, you could probably just as easily tense a certain part of your body up. But I'm going to do the hands because... The hands are quite close to, well, I don't know, just, it's just the technique. The technique is using your hands. So, I want you to focus, and this, this recording is to help you to reduce your stress and or chronic pain. So, it could be both or, you know, just one or the other and as per usual we'll focus on a particular part of your body where you are currently experiencing physical discomfort due to either stress or chronic pain or maybe both at the same time important to remember to check out and make sure that you know the cause of the chronic pain before ever doing anything to reduce it. Make sure that you know the cause to so see a specialist first. And as far as the stress goes, it's good to use recordings such as this and to make use of as much resources as is available but also you know get yourself checked out by the doctor make sure that there's um that you're okay physically okay and so this is not a replacement for medical professional medical help okay so here we go. Basically, this is very simple, as most of the things that I do are, but it's very simple. You're going to notice how, and we're going to be doing something that you're not going to necessarily want to do. We're going to actually increase the discomfort, but only by a little bit. But there's a really good benefit to doing this. Okay. So. Whichever hand you want to choose to use. I'm going to use my left hand. If you want to use both your hands. You can. But I'm just going to use one hand. In fact no I'm going to use both hands. I'll use both hands. Why not? So. Focus on a part of your body. So I'm going to focus on my lower back because that's always kind of <laughs> quite prominent with me. Um, there's no other part of me that really feels I need attention. In fact, I can actually feel tension in my head and also in my mind. It's a weird kind of feeling 
because um, when it's in your mind, it's not so much physical, but it is still a feeling. So I'm going to ignore my back for now. I'm going to focus on stress instead of the pain in my back. Because right now the pain in my back is its very marginal at the moment. But my stress levels are higher than I would like them to be. And I can feel that stress behind my eyes. As well as around my eyes, uh, the eyeballs themselves. Um, my forehead my ears a little bit as well but I definitely can feel a blockage in my mind there's a definite tension there and I know the cause as well so you don't need to know the cause, but this is something, uh, someone said something that uh, was a little bit upsetting to me. So, you know, I'm, just, I'm holding on to that a little bit, so it would be good to let that go. I'm noticing the rest of my face is relaxed though, my jaw, uh, my mouth, my neck. My back of my neck, a little bit of tension there, and in my shoulders as well. Okay, I didn't notice that until just now. And as soon as I notice it, my shoulders start to relax. It's very, very strange the way that works. So I'm going to focus on the stress that I'm feeling, both physically and emotionally. And, and it's kind of coming out in a physical form. Even my temple is a little bit. I can feel it a little bit in my right temple. And having mentioned it, my eyes are starting to relax. My forehead is starting to relax. But I'm feeling a bit of tension in my throat. Sometimes I notice that the feelings can move. So this is just what I'm noticing about my body. Your body, of course, is different and you, you've got different physical sensations happening there. So what we're going to do is focusing on... I'm going to focus on my eyes, my head, my mind, kind of that whole area really. And as I do that, I'm going to push, I'm going to clench my fists, both of them. Now, I'm going to do it quite hard, but you only clench them as hard as you feel comfortable to do so. And keep them clenched until they kind of start shaking a bit, you know, they're, they're at capacity and it's this it feels uncomfortable and connecting that feeling with the feeling you have behind your eyes or wherever it is for me it's behind my eyes my head I'm noticing that feeling behind my eyes is growing so the discomfort has grown a little bit and in my head my forehead my ears And my shoulders as well, but that might be more to do with me clenching my fists. So I'm going to count down from five down to one. Then let go of your fists as you still focus on that part of your body. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. And maybe just drop your hands down to your knees. And just breathe. Almost instantly, that part of my head has started to relax. 
my ma my mind doesn't seem so clogged up as it was or as it felt. So now we're going to make a fist again with both hands. This time we're not going to do a big grip. We're just going to make our hands into a fist to the level of where, of, you know, comfort or discomfort that you're currently feeling in that part of your body. So it might just be like half a fist, your hands are together, and you can feel that, but you know, you, it's almost like you're connecting the two feelings from your hands, between your hands and the part of your body. Connecting that feeling. And this time, let your hands just relax slowly. Let your hands just relax. The fingers may just come apart a little bit. Allow your hands to just drop to your to your knees or to your thighs. Noticing how you feel differently. Calm you feel. Now we're going to do it again with your hands making them into a fist, but only to the level of pressure that is mirroring the feeling in that part of your body. So maybe you've got a fist but there's no tension there whatsoever. And just allow your hands to open slowly and drop down to your thighs. can feel that my eyes, my forehead and feels all relaxed and there's really not much going on and whatever blockage there seemed to be in my mind is now completely clear. So what we're going to do now is just, just use one hand this time. Doesn't matter if it's your left or your right. And just make a very gentle fist, connecting that sensation of your fist with the part of your body that you've been focusing on. I'm going to count down from five to one. When you get to one, you can allow the hand to naturally fall to your thigh and open very slowly, very gently. Five, four, three, two,
feeling of comfort can spread throughout your whole body as I count from 20 down to 1 that deep relaxation can spread through your whole body number I count down, the original part of your body that you've been focusing on becomes twice as relaxed, twice as comfortable. Now, 20, 19, Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen.
seven. Seven. Mm-hmm.